DIY family, from all of us at the YMCF Pueblo, we miss seeing you and serving you so much. We hope you, your family, and friends are staying healthy. It's been six weeks since our doors were closed for normal operations, but the YMCA of Pueblo is still working hard to meet the needs of our community. My name is Chad Heberly, and I have the honor of being the board chair of the YMCA of Pueblo. And I come to you today to tell you about why the Y for me. Our mission's so much bigger than simply providing our members a place to work out. For me, it's really simple. The Y provides a safe haven from the storms of life, for the community youth, for energetic kids that want to come in. It provides working parents an opportunity to give their kids that safe haven while they recharge themselves and for our older community that are just trying to stay healthy. And thanks to many of you who chose to stick with us as Cause Driven members, our mission has continued. We provided emergency child care and financial assistance for families of essential workers and partnered with School District 60 to ensure we provide ample nutrition to those who rely on us. We stand today in an empty building and we miss our Y family. We're working every day to make sure you have a great place to come back to. We've conducted wellness checks for our members, young and old, to prevent isolation and let them know we care. We've created Y at Home to provide tools and resources to help our members and community adjust to a new normal. And because of you, essential staff have been able to continue the work that needs to be done to keep the Y going. We've had numerous projects going on in the building while you've been away. When you come back, you're going to see a bright and sparkly shiny pool. We've been in there grouting, we've acid washed the pool, we've painted, uh, and we look forward to seeing all the splashing and smiling faces. Uh, we're standing here in the empty gym, as you can see, is, is ready for the games to begin. Now that communities across the country are planning to reopen, here's where things stand at the Y. We're working with the public health experts and the CDC to establish temporary safety protocols. This will include appropriate social distancing, disinfection plans, and where needed screening. I want you to know that your YMCA never says no to a kid who wants to play sports, to learn to swim, to a family who wants to be a part of the YMCA. Or, or to one of our active older adults who wants to come in to find some friends. We never say no because of financial reasons. So how do we do that? It's you. You're the reason we can do that. Your membership provides this infrastructure, provides this building, which gives us the opportunity to do the work and to serve those in our community with sports and the opportunity to learn team, team sports and, and the opportunity to learn health and healthy living. It provides us the opportunity to teach kids to swim and be safe around water. And it provides us an opportunity to give those in our community that safe haven. We know things will be different when we come out of this, but we're confident that we'll be better and stronger than ever. We look forward to enhanced partnerships with like-minded organizations, new programs to meet the changing needs in our community, and a new appreciation for the relationships that are built through the Y. So thank you, thank you for your membership, thank you for your support, and thank you for the role you play in serving our community. We can't wait to see you at the Y.